Hello my viewers, I want to welcome you to this exciting lesson in Revit. In this lesson, I just want to show you the new features in Revit 2024. This is quite an exciting release by Autodesk. So you are going to see the newest features in Revit 2024. All right, so without wasting time, let's get started in this tutorial. Now, before I proceed, I just want to ask all of you, please make sure that you like my video, subscribe to my channel and share with your friends. And if you want to learn Revit architecture, Revit structure and robot structure analysis step by step in a course, check the links in the description. OK, so you see that if I just open start a new project and I'll just click there, you see that the first time you open the project, you are going to see that Autodesk have introduced, you know, uh, sample projects. You can see that we have the architectural, we have the structural, electrical, HVAC and plumbing. These are detailed projects than the previous versions. So I will not go in details to check each one of them. Make sure that you check them out and learn one or two things. You can copy the annotations from there and apply it on your template. And most important for beginners, it will help you also to see how, you know, you know, professionals work on projects. Okay. So let me just click the architectural maybe so that you, you just check it and see what is contained in the architectural sample project. You can see that, let me just ignore and just continue. You can see that it's quite a detailed project. As you can see, just like the structure, you can open it up and check. This is architectural, it's a detailed project. If I just go to the 3D view, you can see that the project is right there from the look of things. This has just been linked as you can see from here, All right? So if I just zoom in and out, you can see that it's a very very detailed project and just take your time and check it you are definitely going to learn one or two things from such projects and that will help you to even improve while working in revit you can see that from here again we have all the views and this is applicable to all the disciplines structural you know hvac you know plumbing make sure that you check those sample projects and learn one or two things from them as you can see from here so i'll not check all of them you can see that you can go ahead and counter check these sample projects this is quite an exciting feature in you know revit 2024 so i'll simply close this there's something more that I want to show you once you open the project there I'll go back there and you see that if you start a project if you just click on new there you see that now we have you know imperial multi-discipline as a template if I just click on open there you see that this is an interdiscipline template where architectural structure MEP if you MEP if you're working on such a project with a combination of all the discipline you can use this template and you can see that it's quite a detailed template you can just use it from scratch the way it is and apply it on your project so i'll close it and i just want to open you know one discipline okay if you want to do that you are not working on an interdisciplinary project just click on new then click on browse you can now check from here and pick just one discipline as a default template or you can even now go to where you have saved your own template and open it i'll just maybe for this lesson i'll just click that one structure analysis default and just click on open then click on ok all right so you see that this is the one you have i like using you know this is imperial units i just go to un for metric and i just want to change this one maybe two millimeters click on ok ok and we have changed it to that so you can change the unit. So now from here, what I want to show you now is the dark theme. I think a lot of people wanted to have something, you know, the way AutoCAD appears, you know, a dark mode. This has been implemented in Revit 2024. You can simply go to view and see that if I turn on that one, canvas theme, I'm able to turn on, on and off. Okay, so this is the dark theme. Now you notice that where we have the tools here, it's still, you know, light. So to do that, just go to file and options, then go to colors right here and just change it to dark theme and click on OK. Then you see that this is how you have it here. But I don't like using the dark theme myself. If you like the dark theme, just proceed from here and start working on your project. But for me, I'm just going to turn it off from here. 
and then go back there go to options you know colors and i just want to bring it to light theme okay and you can see we are back here so this is a new feature which you have to check okay again i mentioned to say that there are a lot of things that you can copy from your template even on the sample projects if i go back here let me this one is a structure project i think let me open the architectural project there's something that i want to show you i open the architectural project you see that under the legends you have some you know detail items some components again that you can copy and use on your project just click on ignore there so you see that again another important feature is that within Revit 2024 if i want something from here you can see that for detailed project like this one you are going to find it tough to find you know what you are looking for okay so now that we have a search feature you can just type there maybe legend you can you can even see that it will start appearing there okay so i can just go on top and see where the legends are so you can see that all these are legends legends you can check so if i just want there's something that i want to check from here okay if i just go to maybe you know safety here fire resistance wall legends. so these are some of the things again that you can start copying okay i can go to door, shed, door schedule you can see that if i just double click here under the legend you can see that we have those okay there is most importantly something that i want to show second floor third floor no okay there are some dimensions and text that i want to use let me just close this one and just search it manually myself because it's something i want to show you go to details okay again on the details you can check all these details that are here you can learn from here all right so let me just minimize this one and uh, if i go to legends right here just open it here i want to show you this if i go to text and dimensions you can see that again this these are you know dimensions that you can copy if you like the font and everything for dimensions you can copy these on your template you can see the text and all these can be copied okay to your template all right so this is a very very important you know too now specifically for those in the structural field let me just close this there's something that i want to show you which is quite quite important okay if i just go to this project okay all right let me even close all these sample projects for sample projects just make sure that you you know you counter check go deeper and learn one or two things so if i go to my project you see that i have uh, I, if I just double click there, I have these, you know, which are called bending details, but these were created in the previous version no, by using, you know, a, a plugin or another software within Revit. So I just want to do it now. This time you are able to do this within your, you know, within Revit here. Okay. So I'll just, just do that one. Okay. And show you how you can do it within Revit. So we have our beam there we have to add if you want to add bending details for those who are in regions where you add the bending details within just maybe next to the details you it's possible now in revit 2024 you are able to do that so you see that if i just double click since this is on the sheet zoom in here and if i just pick that river there you see that you have a two called the bending detail if i just click on it you can see that i'm able to you know click there and just go to the next you know you know uh riba there you're just able to place your bending details you can even pick those okay and just place it there click this one and place it there let me finish the other one at the bottom and place it somewhere here and this one at the bottom as you can see from here so this one has been simplified now you don't need the plugin or any other software it's just within revit you are able to achieve something like this by just adding the bending detail now you see that if i just click on that you can see that go to edit i'm able to change the view of the bending detail okay not actually the view is a representation i can go to standard 
okay for standard i click on apply this is how you see it i can go to maybe unfold apply this is how you see it and the last one offset this is how you see it so i like using the standard click on apply okay and you can see that it's right here now for the text i can select on it click on edit sometimes it will be so big depending on the scale i can click on linear dimension style then go down until i see the text size you see that if i add maybe three to be so big sometimes you see it like this but just go there and if i maybe i want to have 1.5 for text apply okay and you're able to do that now if i also want to move the text closer to the bending detail i can go down and just counter check the offset where is the offset first of all you have to go there and click then find the offset which is right here text offset so if i want maybe 0.5 maybe i want to reduce it a bit just like that then apply you can see that it moves closer and you are able to you know to adjust this so that it can look nice on your details so this is a very very important tool for those who are using bending details next to your to your to, to your to your details okay so the other important tool that i want to show this one is for architects it's the topo solid if you want to create your topo surface now it has changed it has been replaced with the topo solid where you can create from scratch or create from import for example if you have a file from civil 3d now i'll go back to this one and let me maybe just open a new file click on new and i'll go to browse let me just pick maybe I want something architectural maybe this one residential by default click on open then okay then let it open i want to show you how you can use this new feature which is called topo solid so from here if i just go to massing and sighting you see you can create your topo surface by just maybe create from scratch now this topo solid is now working like a floor or a roof the way you are able to add the layers the way you are able to shape use shape editing tools that is how you are able to achieve this and to do some excavations you are going to see where you are going to use different tools so if i go to top of solid and create from scratch i'll just use these tools and click on rectangle and just yeah, just create something like a rectangle click on finish and i just want to change the units i use some metric guy i'll just go to un because i use an imperial one click there then i just want to change this one to millimeters apply okay then you can see that it has changed now if i just change let me go to realistic so that i can see what is happening here and just change to go to the 3d view once again to realistic you see that we have this as a topo solid now i told you that this can be put in layers because it acts like a roof or a or a floor if i select on it let me add some layers then click on edit type then under the structure go to edit you see that you just have one layer from here i can just select once let me just insert a layer so these are these tools are you know not necessarily new features the new feature is the topo where you can use the old tools to create any topo surface using the topo solid so i just want to add the layers there then insert then i just want to move it up then this layer i want it to be maybe a finish and i want to change the material by clicking there i'll create a new material then uh, create new and i'll just maintain the name there then go there and i want to find grass okay just like that because i want to have that layer to be of grass then i can just select this one load it there as you can see the background then i'll cancel then click on apply okay so you can see that it's added there the thickness let me just use maybe maybe 500 as the thickness for that layer okay for grass then for the other layer there let me say all right let me say maybe 2000 for two meters then click on apply apply okay so we have it here you can even see that we have the layer on top of that and you see that we have this one now if you want to create maybe the grading some contours so that it slopes in particular direction 
how you approach it is by selecting on it and you are going to use modify sub elements these are shape editing tools which as i mentioned it behaves as if it's a floor or a roof so if i just click there you can now start changing this you can see that i can change that one maybe you just push it up you can even see start sloping you can push this one down if i want if i want to add some points again these are just shape editing tools i can maybe add a number of points here and some more points there okay as you can see and i can change its elevation for all these points okay so i'll just maybe for let me just click click on modify a sub elements then these points can be changed maybe i just want to i can even drag these points now this is too much or you can just type maybe 1000 just like that it goes down you can see that i'm able to change maybe even this one 1000 i want all these points to be a meter just like that now i'm just doing something off from my head you can just you know do whatever you want then maybe this one maybe i can also try to just drag it anyway i'll not mind but this is how you're going to you know to adjust those points so that you can create any kind of a you know a shape here so maybe these are too low because i want this one also to as you can see from here let me this point okay maybe this one here i can even drag it a bit down there and i'll leave it the way it is so at least you've got an idea of how you are able to play with this one okay if i click on modify you can see that we have the contours they are going to appear like that so just play with this select on it use the shape editing tools now the goodness is that if you bring in a you know for example from here if you bring in, you create from an import all these will be created for you especially if you created the topo surface from you know uh, you know civil 3 or other software that will still appear but for architectural purposes or for visualization you can do this now the other feature is that if you want now to do some excavations even in structural you want to put the surface and put excavations there even for those who do animations you don't have anything to do those excavations here what you have now is for you to go to architecture structure you can use a model in place and just cut it from here so i'll click model in place then for for the category you can use anything okay let me use maybe a floor okay for my category you can use anything you can use uh, the same one okay the top of solids but i'll use floor as a category click okay then okay then what you do is go to void forms and void extrusion okay you can use that then go and use these tools here to sketch you know how you want to excavate there maybe i want to excavate something you know rectangular there i'll click as you can see from here i'll just maintain what is here click on finish then what i'm going to do is to drag it like that and drag it down a bit all right you can see that it's going to cut this as you can see it's not yet up enough so if i do that let me drag it inside all right let me drag it inside like that i just want to have the excavation like that now you need to cut it before you click on the green check mark just go to cut then cut geometries select the top of solid and click select that one click on finish you can see that you are able to cut it like that now it's gone way down there i want it to end somewhere here so what you need to do again just over your case there select on it then edit in place then select on it once again let me simply drag it up so this can be adjusted later on okay like that all right so let me click on finish there it's still okay let me select it once again edit and quickly select it once again all right so let me go to the right view oh it's still too long i'll select there then orbit like that then click on finish then you can see that it's right there so this is how you can cut you can create some tunnels just with these tools and it's very very easy for you so these are some of the most common features they use features in revit 2023 of course i may go deeper on each of these tools in the upcoming lessons so thanks for watching like my video subscribe to my channel and see you in some upcoming lessons